Hi betting experts, on Saturday the 9th of January, first of all look back at our two bets at Taunton on Friday, we move on to Chepstow on Saturday, the rescheduled Coral Welsh National Day, the meeting does have to survive in inspection, um, there's plenty of snow forecast, hopefully things will be right, they've got the frost covers down so it should be okay in that regard, it's just if they obviously get a load of snow they won't be on but let's hope so the ground's going to be heavy it's going to be a really attritional spectacle it's a cracking card as well eight races they've put on they deserve a lot of credit for trying to get the meeting to go ahead we start off with our value angle selection in the 310 this is the coral welsh grand national handicap chase three miles six grade three class one five-year-olds and upwards a cracking eighty-five thousand pounds on offer to the winner evan williams might hold the key to it he trains the short price favorite secret reprieve who i think is a doubtful stayer over beyond three miles for the first time and i'm looking to his stable mate prime venture who's a double figure price and i think that is very fair if you're going to play perhaps play each way some of the bookmakers be offering five or even six places and that's where the value lies now this one had been very frustrating he'd run 12 times without winning over fences but he got off the mark in a week race at Sedfield on his return over three mile two, um, cruising clear on the bridle from a weak lock under Hughes. His form in the mud stands the closest inspection. He ran an absolute screamer in this race last year uh, when fourth of 17 behind Potter's Corner, travelling strongly under wedge, never quite landing a blow. He stays the trip well. He's a sound jumper. He's going to get a patient ride this time around from Tom O'Brien. He's one of very few who will definitely stay the trip. And I think with a clean round of jumping and with luck he's sure to be bang there for our nap of the day we go to the 125 this is the coral finale juvenile hurdle two mile grade one class one four-year-olds only twenty-eight thousand four hundred and seventy-five pounds on offer to the winner and i think this is a really good opportunity for nasalem of gary moore to cement his position right up the top of the triumph hurdle market now he's owned by some very shrewd people um, he's won both starts so far at fontwell against nothing he came home by 59 lengths from shentry on his hurdling debut looking an absolute monster in the heavy ground and then landed long odds on back at that track next time out he's still got a little bit to learn about jumping but he's a relentless galloper he does remind me immensely of goshen from the same yard who fell at the last when he won the triumph hurdle by about 15 lengths in 2020 he's reportedly going to cheltenham his owners are on for that race and he can take this step up to grade one company in his stride best of luck on saturday betting experts